the only way to win. Let me tell you, it's all about character. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a doctor. I've read this book. Let me summarize it for you. You see, you gain satisfaction from autonomy, mastery, and relatedness. And a positive mindset is important. However, life is all actually about the purpose and meaning. So the key message is do not get addicted to external rewards, particularly when the outcome is uncertain. Instead, think of the process as an opportunity to develop your character. The acronym to remember is ABC, always build character. So character can be split into two things and you can judge your moral character by how you would treat somebody who can't help you at all. And that's the way you'd interact with people in other words. However, performance character is how you interact with yourself and how disciplined and how focused you can be. Both are important. Let's come back to external achievement. So it's clear there'll never be enough. Let's say this video got a hundred views or a thousand views, 10,000, even a million. When is enough? Okay, well, please feel free to share, but it's a bit like shopping. You buy something, you buy something more. Rare jewelry, you get a rare thing, you need another rare thing. And really to make an enduring difference, it's, it doesn't do it because in essence, you've bought something, it doesn't do anything. And that's why really rich people are often no more happier than anybody else. Rather than thinking about this concept of self-esteem, concentrate more on developing self-control and self-discipline. And certainly those are the two characteristics you need. See, the notion of self-esteem too much relies upon external earning. So for example, if you're a narcissist and you don't think it needs to be earned at all, that's seriously flawed. However, if you're not a narcissist and you're looking at external rewards to judge your self-esteem, it's, it's a real problem. See, true self-esteem really develops when one's actions are congruent with one's inner core values and beliefs. And in essence, you're then able to both internally work through to your core values. And if you get an external reward, great, but you're not then misguided. Society, in essence, has a scorecard. What have you achieved? When have you bought your house by? And if you just build on focusing on these rewards, it's not good. But instead, focus on your own scorecard. What matters to you? And then build your intrinsic values and be very, very cautious about breaking them. Because if you do, you take a shortcut sometime, but it's opposite to your intrinsic values, you'll find the ma main person you damage is yourself. It could be physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And in business, like all areas of life, when all is said and done, it's actually how somebody wants something than the reward itself. There's a nice business school example that you'll all have heard of if you went to business school. I haven't. Um, but it's this example of the Tynanol crisis of 1982. And this was when in the Chicago area, somebody said these capsules had been poisoned with cyanide. And Johnson and Johnson management really were able to say, well, we're going to rely on our company's mission statement here and therefore pulled all of these products off the shelves. They were getting advice from lawyers and attorneys, consultants saying, well, you could do a phased uh, uh, reduction if you pull everything off, it may not look good. But that's what they did and it actually worked out well for them. And that's a good example of a business having its values working towards them and something that they can look to when the trouble is hard looking at your predetermined values. Let's talk about athletes. So 
athletes are often people who are driven by extrinsic external awards, but really the people who do well there actually develop their character and have the attention to their own intrinsic needs. So even if you're winning, what you'll then find out is that a trophy doesn't change anything. Whereas you, you've pursued a goal, hopefully you've achieved it, and then you think, so what? Whereas, in particular, if you don't achieve the goal, you push yourself, you spend all your time doing this, and it doesn't help you. However, if you're fulfilled and you're thinking, well, this is a good opportunity to build my strength of character, then it doesn't really matter if you win or not. And equally, this applies in the world of business when you think about you as an individual business person. Because if you can repurpose your work to grow inner strength of character that is in alignment with your true purpose, you'll find satisfaction from this. The author mentions Andre Agassi a fair bit. In essence, um, he was a sports coach and involved in sports coaching, the author was. Andre Agassi was a successful tennis player and initially he won and he won lots of championships but he hated tennis and he didn't enjoy this. He then left and he came back but when he came back he came back with purpose and he'd really thought well I've got a talent for tennis I'm going to use it to do good and that's when he achieved satisfaction. And it's easy to look at successful people and think oh look they've got all this privilege They've got all of this, it must be easy for them. But if you look through, often they'll have faced numerous challenges before they've got to the point in life that they are at. And really they need this. Because if they didn't have that battery of character tests, what you'd find is as soon as they get privilege and power, they would have almost no chance of being able to overcome and resist the challenges that they will have. Let's talk about parenting. You may have heard of tiger parents. These are pushy parents who want their child to win everything. And they often are living through the achievements of their children. And this is not good. What we want to do is to actually build up your child's character. The difficulty is it's immediately satisfying if you see your child win a race, for example. Whereas the building of character is much more abstract. Children learn different uh, virtues at different times. And if they miss valuable character building opportunities, that door closes and potentially that window of opportunity to develop their moral uh, compass is missed. And it can actually then manifest with various psychosocial crises in their adult life. So a, a basic one would be an infant um, who didn't have their needs of trust fulfilled, having a pervasive mistrust of others throughout their adulthood. And what you don't want is your child to develop a tendency to devote all their time to achieve external rewards just like I was saying earlier, because when they get this, they may find that they're actually not happy. This is a hollowness that you achieve and a disillusionment may follow. And it's, that's if you don't have the right purpose. But let me be very clear here. I'm not saying that extrinsic achievement is bad, but it has to be aligned with your own intrinsic values, because if you can use these opportunities to obtain extrinsic awards with character growth, that's when you're on the path to success. And what you'll find is you'll do something well, you'll achieve something. There's always a higher achievement to do. But by doing that and pushing yourself and encountering more resistance, that's when you get the opportunity to develop your character and that's when you can potentially get the most out of your life. Really, the enduring path to achieve fulfillment at work and life is making sure that character trumps 
all other considerations. I hope you've enjoyed that. Feel free to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.